Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Uh, today we're going to learn how to assign materials and change colors and make things different shaders. Okay, so how we're gonna start this is in my Discord. And there's going to be a channel for beginner beginner resources. In that channel, there's going to be a link to shaders. So we learned how to import last time. Just um drag, you know, download the shaders. Um, drag that uni file right into here in this box. Down here, that says assets right here. All right. So uh, once you download it, it's imported in, which it takes a very long time. Oh, we're going to learn how to change colors. You know how to make things, you know, cool looking. All right. So first, um, pretend, pretend just this wasn't here yet. Let's just, uh, so how we make a material is really important is you go create material, uh, later down in advanced, um, advanced tutorials. So you're going to be like importing like your own FBX, you know, you need to know how to make a new material or else it just, you'll get really weird stuff. All right, so that's for later right now. I say I want this, I want this into glass. So um, how give something its own uh, texture or material is, you literally grab this, you drag it up and you see how like whenever it touches something, um, it can it actually like makes it this material right down here. So I want to make this necklace, whatever the, you know, glass. All right. So I did that. Um, you know, I made, I selected it, put it on everything. So, okay. How we change the shader, how we make things look cool. So we go standard, you know, this is, it's a shader. How we change the shader is by this, this little drop down thing. You go custom, which is the one we all downloaded. You know, you go into my discord, um, beginner materials, stuff like that. So, you know, the shares you import, a custom uh, glass, so that would be, you know, it's all categorized for you objects. All right, so object shares, that would be glass right here. You know, there's a ton of shares. I highly recommend for you guys to look through all of these, especially the ploy shader. That's the most common shader, you know, everybody talks about. It. It's just a really important shader. So I highly encourage you to look through this. Um, Yeah. Just all of them, you know, all of them. It's it's really important. So let's say I, I wanted to make this glass look, you know, metallic. I can just hide it. You know, every single one of these has some really, really nice um settings. Every shader has its own individual settings. When you first get into shares, I highly recommend, you know, you just, for example, I want a different share. I want the, the hologram one. My favorite one actually so come here you know I highly recommend you like you know play with the colors play with the colors you know uh, just make sure you explore shaders they're important they're also really fun to work with so changing colors um how you get to the original materials so uh, you know you've like downloaded this from VRChat mods if you download an avatar from VRChat mods um there's going to be materials already. So what you want to do is go hover your mouse upon her on the screen, double click her until there's this, this box around her. So on the right hand side, you're going to see these. So these are all materials, all materials, which is basically that. Um, and they've got their own shaders. So this one. I mean, in this case, they're all the same here, but let's let's first, you know, add the skin one. So we have the unlit texture, which is this one, that one right here, but we want to change it to, you know, because right now it's actually giving off emission because I deleted the lighting. What I'm going to do is we're going to go custom, after shares. Personally, I love using the cube paradox shader for the skin. It's always good on the skin so you just click that all right and this is what it looks like without emission let's do the same for the face yeah 
Lit custom avatar cubes, flat lit tune. Oh my god. So here, uh, why it's like this is the color. So cubed has a special thing where you can adjust the color to anything. What we want is just white. So if, if you know if that's the case for any of you guys. So yeah, that's that's my most favorite skin stuff. Um, let's let's change the color for the hair. So as I talked before about the poi shader, um, looking into the poi here, which is again one of the most important hairs, it's gonna have fake lighting. That's what the shadow is. You know, that's that's fake lighting. So if I personally hate fake lighting, so I'm just gonna turn that off. Because it's already textured, you know. Um, you go main. You know, let, let's make this dark blue. So you go with that. If you want, like, emissions. So, to access the original map, you can click on the map here. Same with cubed. Like, if you want to go to map, you just, there's a little icon here with the actual texture in it. Just click on that. We want to drag that here. If we don't, It'll just overlay this color and, you know, it won't have any def depth to it. So, um, you know, we can, so first, if you play with strength, it won't do anything because the emission is black. We want to make it a bit higher, you know. So if we do this, we do that, um, you know, we got emission. Got emission for the hair. So it looks, it has a really nice purple thing. So... Uh, I didn't really cover this, but I did say looking around, you want to right click. So, use the mouse wheel to like pan, alright? Don't forget to do that. Alright, you know, let, let's also change the clothes. So, let's see the shirt. Um, it looks like this. You can just click this, turn it purple um the shirt's probably different I just just find it and edit custom cubed you see it like as I said you want to click that it take you here you want to drag that to emissions if you want to make it glowing and stuff, just click it right there, see? Now we change our avatar to purple. You know, a lot of these avatars have different things. Like, I'm pretty sure these are for the nails. If I'm right, yeah, they're for the fingernails, see? Anyway, you just change it like that. So, right now, I've taught you how to change the color and the shader for this lesson. So yeah, and see you next time.